Good morning. Thank you for watching. Got a beautiful Lord's Day. We're going to video on the front porch, but it's the uh, wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour. We decided we uh, couldn't uh, hear the sound, so we just came back in. And uh, so uh, last week, uh, uh, well, we, we'll get on our uh, sick list here. Folks need prayers. Uh, uh, we need uh, prayers for Garl Fugit, Wade Candy Corn, uh, Daphne Anderson, Mary Mason, Hillary Davenport, Lee Heath, Terry Parham, uh, Patricia Womack, Benny Blair, Taylor Blanton, Marilyn Medley, Lamar Sism, Tracy Mooneyham. Uh, and we need to send sympathy to the families of Cindy Kelly and Jimmy McGinnis. Uh, also, I would like to uh, put on the uh, sick list a friend of mine, uh, his dad, uh, uh, Wesley E. Doris uh, Sr. Um, he has uh, been diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's and uh, uh, he is in very bad shape. Uh, so uh, he's in the hospital right now. So pray for him uh, and, um, uh, and my friend Wesley. Uh, and also I'd like to say a little bit more about Daphne. Uh, she is very sick at this time. So Please keep her in your prayers and her family, and uh, they have done an excellent job of taking care of her. Um, and please keep all those folks in your prayers. Um, today we're going to uh, be talking about uh, uh, what do you have uh, as your purpose in life. And you remember last week uh, I, I read uh, Psalm 73. Uh, and so we'll we'll go back with the lesson here on that, and, and if you uh, need to uh, remind yourself about that Psalm 73, that's always good to go back and read that. Uh, the Bible is very clear on what purpose in life should be. Men, both in the Old Testament and New Testament, saw for and discovered life's purpose. And Solomon, he, he, I like to read about Solomon. He's the wisest man who ever lived. Uh, he discovered the uh, futility of life when uh, it is lived only for this world. He gives these concluding remarks in the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God will bring every deed into judgment, including every hidden thing, whether it's good or evil. That's Ecclesiastes 12, 13 and 14. Solomon says that life is all about honoring God with our thoughts and lives, thus keeping his commandments, for one day we will stand before him in judgment. Part of our purpose in life is to fear God and to obey him. Another part of our purpose in life to, is to, on this earth is to keep in perspective, unlike those who focus on this life. Uh, King David looked for his satisfaction in the time to come. He said, and I in righteousness will see your face when I awake. I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. That's in Psalm 17 verse 15. To David, full satisfaction will come on the day when he awoke in the next life, both beholding God's face, uh, fellowship with him, and being like him. That's 1 John 3, 2. Uh, you remember in Psalms uh, 73, uh, talks about how uh, Asaph talks about how uh, he was tempted uh, to envy the wicked who seem to come out, uh, who seem to have no cares and built their fortunes upon the backs of those who took advantage of. And he considered their ultimate end in contrast to what they sought after. He states that in verse 25, uh, what mattered to him? Whom have I in heaven but you? Uh, and earth has nothing I desire besides you. And that's in verse 25. This relationship to God above all else, what, uh, without that relationship, life has no real purpose. Uh, the Apostle Paul talked about uh, all he had achieved religiously before being confronted by the risen Christ. He concluded that all it was 
was a pile of dung compared to the ex excellence of knowing Christ Jesus. In Philippians 3, uh, 10 through 9, Paul says that he wants nothing more to, but to know Christ and to be found in him, to have his righteousness and his faith, uh, to live by faith in him, even if it meant suffering and dying. Paul's purpose was knowing Christ, having a righteousness obtained through faith in him and living in fellowship with him, even when that brought on suffering. That's in 2 Timothy 3, 12. Ultimately, he looked for that time when he would be part of the resurrection from the dead. Our purpose in life, as God has originally created man, was to glorify God and enjoy fellowship with him, have good relationships with others, and work and have dominion over the earth. But with man's fall into sin, fellowship with God was broken. Relationship with others were strained, and work seems to always be frustrating, and a man struggles to maintain a semblance of dominion over nature. Only the, by restoring fellowship with God through faith in Jesus Christ can the purpose of life be rediscovered. The purpose of man is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. We glorify God by fearing and obeying him, keeping our eyes on the future home in heaven and knowing him intimately. We enjoy God by following his purpose for our lives, which enables us to experience true and lasting joy, the abundant life he desires for us. You know, that's, uh, that uh, uh, talks about uh, it, the, uh, what Solomon told us. You know, that it all boils down to that. We got to keep God's uh, commandments, uh, and that's for the whole. That's for the whole duty of man to keep God's commandments, uh, and that's what it all boils down to. Um, we've got to be good Christians. We've got to know Jesus Christ. We've got to study our Bible, and we've got to keep God in our heart. And that's the way you do it: is by reading your Bible and studying and uh, going over these things that he wants you to know. Uh, you know, we got to work with others. We got to keep uh, peace and we've got to do the best we can uh, cause that's what God would do, want us to do. So this is the end of my little lesson for today. Um, I sure hope you uh, have enjoyed it. And by the way, go back and read that uh, Psalm 73 again if you didn't read it uh, last week. Uh, but it's it's a very good chapter there, uh, explains a lot. Uh, please keep all of the sick in, in your prayers, as, as I uh, mentioned before. Uh, please keep our servicemen and women and uh, our first responders in your prayers. Uh, please remember the, the military uh, fellows that, from Tennessee that was killed uh, in a helicopter accident uh, this past week. Uh, please remember... Uh, uh, all the folks in Turkey that uh, have uh, been killed because of the earthquake. Uh, man, I, I can't remember. It was, the toll was way up. Uh, so I, I don't remember the last figure that I got, but it was uh, uh, really big. But uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, God bless and see you next time.